Yeah, mm-hmm. record. How did that come about? Like, why do you think that became like uh, yeah, this sort so of breakthrough for you? It's so funny. I had finished doing the outside album, and then um, I was I just bought a Bentley. <laughs> okay. I was in the club almost every other day. <laughs> <laughs> That's the inspiration, <laughs> right? And then I was in this club called uh, Quillox, right? The owner is my friend's name, Shinopella. So he just comes up to me, and he's, he's, he knew he knew I was gone already. I was already uh, fucked. Right. <laughs> right, so he pulls up on me and he's like, "Yo, my guy upstairs just made this beat, man. And I'm telling you, this is yours." Mm. I'm like, "Bro, you know, you started this rubbish <laughs> in the club, <laughs> yeah. like while the music is like, <laughs> the high of the He's telling me this in the ear like this, you know. <laughs> and then he, he has the shit. The, they he made the them flash put the beat on his phone in the club. You know, he's trying wow. to. Yeah, first we go outside to the restaurant. Yeah, and he plays it in my ear because I get angry. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a rest everything was in the club you know there's a restaurant right there okay. you know the studio's upstairs it was a nice setting so anyway eventually we go upstairs and then I start recording wow the producer is there waiting like you know cause wow. it didn't take me 10 minutes wow you know I spent the rest of the time listening to it <laughs> <laughs> that's how I made it in the club